So in this session, we'll be looking at the user interface for Pablon Press. So Pablon Press is a way for us to create online documents and uh, share them with others. And it does have a kind of open source uh, aspiration to it, uh, but there are options to save Pablons as uh, uh, private files and so on. So when we open up Pablon Press, you can see a number of options up top here. And the first one to look at is the create section. So if we click on create and we click on element type, you can see different types of elements that uh, we can create in our online document. Uh, under object attributes, we can edit uh, the attributes of the currently selected object and nothing selected as yet, so nothing's showing here. Under variables, uh, we can do operations. We can create variables, operate on those variables. Some variables have operations we can apply and so on. Uh, under code, uh, we will see the code that develops as we create elements and uh, create their behaviors. And uh, under uh, navigate, uh, we get uh, a navigator for us to select the various elements. And in fact, let's go ahead and uh, load up a uh, some elements for us to uh, navigate around. So let's create some text here. This is some text. And to create this text element, I'm going to hit Control Enter. So that's a keyboard shortcut for us to uh, to create uh, any object in this document. And you'll see here a reference to this text element has appeared here. And if I create another element, this is some more text. And if I hit Control Enter again, then there's uh, another text element that's appeared there. And so here in the navigator, if I click on this other element, you can see it selects the first one. So I can click around here. And sometimes we want to position an element inside of another element. And to do that, instead of hitting Control Enter, now we hit Shift Enter. So Shift and Enter. And it appears as if this text is just be be below the other one. But if you look here, you can see this text element has appeared within the first one. So if I click here, you can see it's outlined both because it's outlining the parent, which contains this as a child element. Or if I just click the child element, then that's uh, selected there. It's closing this. And, uh, and we can also uh, hide elements and show elements. So if we say hide here, then you can see that element is hidden. And then uh, we can hopefully choose to show it again as well. Um, then we can also delete elements. So if I click on an element and if I hit Control Delete, then that element uh, is deleted. So those are the uh, basics of uh, navigating the, the menus and creating elements. There are also keyboard shortcuts. So you can see beside each of these uh, options, you have in the square brackets uh, a character. So it means if you hit Alt and the character, then that will bring up that menu. So if I hit Alt 1 here, then it will uh, bring through the creation menu and it selected the first element type. If I hit Alt 2, then it chooses the next one and so on. So Alt 1 to 9 uh, gives us a quick way to select an object. And so if we hit Control Enter to add that element, then uh, that element appears on the screen there. Um, so that's uh, uh, the keyboard shortcut for uh, the creation palette. And we can close that by just hitting Escape. Then we can hit Alt A to bring up the object attributes. So this is an, uh, a meta question, and we can see the editor for this meta question here as well. So we can edit it using this object attributes editor. And then Alt R for the variables, Alt C for the code. And in this code, we can see now that as we've added elements, uh, th there's some code that's built up in our document. And what we can do is save this code as a new entry. So if we enter a label here and click 
uh, plus it's going to create a new document and the references for those will be down there. So you can click on uh, the link that appears and you'll be able to uh, reload that. So this is to save a new document. This is to update the save of that. This is to, um, to delete, right? So you can manage your code that way. Uh, so those are the basics of the user interface.